So 50% of the people of the world live in cities today. Based on the trends that are occurring, that model will continue to accelerate. The city infrastructure has to be able to support the influx of people. We need a better understanding of how all of the different systems within our cities operate and interoperate. There's a system that manages typically public health capabilities. There's another group that's focused on transportation systems. There's another group that's focused on public safety and dispatching of police and fire vehicles. There's people that are focused on education. So what we've been doing is we've been working with a core set of cities and we're spending our time helping them understand what the platform would look like so they don't need to build individual silos anymore. Our approach is to enable those systems with a common platform, with a common set of tools and services, and then a common set of vertical applications in the middle that will support them. If you look at what OSISoft does, you can start to see things like, what are the chances that my public works vehicles will be operating in the capacity that they need? As well as, do I have the right people and the right work schedules to make this happen? And the beauty of this is, as you've got Pi servers that are implemented and data is being aggregated, and as you look at the new uh, Cloud Connect capabilities, all of the different services that you're seeing will become a plug and play. They'll become snappable within this environment. For the last hundred years, cities invested in things like pipes and roads and bridges and pads for factories and heavy infrastructure and rail to attract jobs and create business. To attract the clean tech kinds of, of businesses of the next hundred years, there has to be a fundamental data infrastructure in place where these businesses have a way to manage these big mega trends of data, high volumes of data, and be able to do analytics pilot project we're working on now with the utility, and the utility is sending PMU data on the frequency and stability of the grid to the university. The university is using their big data analytics capacity to understand those events. And then we're also streaming building data from the private sector in that same territory into that environment to look at what are the effects of how buildings consume energy and load forecast what the buildings are doing. And if you twisted the behavior of the building, could you inject stability into the grid? By using something like Pi Cloud Connect, what we're able to present up into the cloud and make available to a utility is to understand the heavy loads and generation sources inside the fence of these buildings. So can you have a relationship with these buildings and industrial owners to really become a grid resource and help you throttle up and down as you absorb intermittent renewable energy and electric vehicles and other things into your system. For cities, we look at this as a, as a core infrastructure that's going to drive and be a foundational element for economic development.